guys, it's Joyce, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Scenes by Joy. And y'all, we have officially made it to day 19 of Vlogmas. I'm gonna keep it 100. I was gonna tap out on y'all today. I was totally going to tap out. Like, life has been life, and just, I was like, you know what? I did 18 days. I'm cool with that. I'm gonna continue on this YouTube journey. I got other content planned, but I said, you know what? I got a little interest tonight. I got a little things on my mind. So I can go ahead and vlog it out. So here we are, you guys. So just to give y'all the rundown of how my day was, I woke up. Well, let's back up. The last vlog y'all saw was me at the state game, me going to brunch. I didn't even make it to close out the vlog. Y'all, I was exhausted. Like this past week, this past week has kicked my ass, okay? It has literally kicked your girl ass. And honey, your girl was tired. So after I left brunch, I got to the house. I could barely even talk to my best friend and my godson. Like I was out like a light. Kimmy ended up coming over the next day with Knox. Him and Carter got to play, all that good stuff. But I didn't even vlog yesterday, you guys. I just wanted to rest. I just wanted to catch up on some me time. So that was it. So fast forwarding to today, I was able to, you know, sleep in a little bit. I had went to the gym. After I went to the gym, hold on, because I totally hear my airplane. Not my airplane. I hear an airplane flying over my apartment, and I don't want it to interrupt me. So just hold on. <laughs> Okay, anywho, I had to close my door, you guys. But yes, yeah, so I had slept in a little bit. I had went to the gym. After I went to the gym, I had went to the grocery store because I am currently cooking right now. And I edited a video, caught up on some reality TV, and your girl just been chilling. I gave myself a little facial. And right now, we about to finish up dinner and get ready to go to a movie premiere. So, little backstory. My friend Courtney, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw on my timeline that I had posted pictures from behind the scenes of a movie, a movie set that she was doing makeup for. Did I say that right? She was doing makeup for a movie set. So I was there to capture behind the scenes pictures of her doing makeup on the lead actress. So I had posted it on my story on Instagram, but I had actually posted it on my Facebook. So if you follow me on any of that, go check that out. But the actual movie is premiering tonight, and I think it's so cool that black creatives can, you know, unite together, take that risk, really go hard with their artistry, and do the damn thing. So I am definitely going to support. Now, I just got my white tee on right now. I'm just gonna throw on a hoodie. No makeup, I already did a facial. We just getting makeup and a little Vaseline on a little baby, and we are gonna leave it at that. Cause your girl gotta go to work in the morning, and the movie premiere is not until nine o'clock. No, I lied. The movie premiere is at 8 p.m. tonight. So I already knew once I got home from that, I just wanted to lay down, probably eat some leftovers, because I'm gonna eat before I go, and just chill. I did not want to be like stressed out, worried about anything, so I can have a lot of energy for this upcoming week. And also, I'm about to start my Christmas break. So I wanna go ahead and get everything done, so when my break hit, I can choose. I mean, not choose. So when my break hit, I can chill. And another thing, like, no makeup, head on, because your girl is dusty. I need my brows done. I need my nails done. I need everything done. But I'm just going to wait to do all that self-care pamper until the first day of my break. So the hair will be done, nails will be done, brows will be done. Because, y'all, my pay fins, I tried to do... I tried to do a little side ponytail, a little curl, swirl, hat, little number. But y'all, and my shirt wrinkled, but I'm putting a hoodie on. But anyways, I tried to do something with this hair, y'all. And my tapings, they were just, they just hanging on their last legs. So, yeah. So, on this vlog, I just wanted to recap y'all on what I've been doing. I am cooking. I'm going to show y'all what I'm cooking real quick, though. Okay. So, we're going to make some fried cabbage we're gonna make some yellow rice and then I, for the first time ever i am cooking turkey breast hold on i need a oh this is foaming up hold on one second guys okay guys so i always want to try turkey chops but i heard that turkey chops wasn't nothing but like turkey breast turkey tenderloins and you slice them and you can fry them and they're like turkey chops but I didn't want to cook them that way for the first time. I bought two packs, so I'm baking this, baking this first one that I got. 
And then I'm gonna let it get a little bit darker. It's been baking for a while so it can get real tender, but you know it's kind of white. So I'm gonna put on bra to let it get darker. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top of that. So I can have dinner tonight and so that can be my meal prep. And I'm just gonna slide that back on in. So it can get a little dark, cause it's pretty much done. I just wanna get darker before I put the cheese on there. Then I got my butter melting right here. Gonna fry some cabbage. I went ahead and added the yellow rice because that was boiling. And yeah, we gonna get us some dinner. I'm going to talk to y'all this way. Yeah, so we gonna get us some dinner popping before we go to this movie premiere. But as a food cook, let's have a little, let's have a little social media drama chit chat. Let's have a little chit chat real quick though. Okay guys, so we got the turkey browning, the rice boiling, and the cabbage cabbaging. So anywho, have y'all been seeing, well, I'm sure y'all been seeing all of the drama on Shade Room about Diddy and Carisha. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give my opinion about this topic because this has been one of those things that I've been back and forth on. So at first, I was really, really team Carisha and team Diddy because I support women who date. And let's make this clear, ladies. Just because you got a man number and y'all text for a few days, that does not mean y'all go together. That means that y'all are dating. Dating meaning as you're getting to know one another. You may step out to get some food. You may step out to the movies, but that's not your boyfriend. Like, ladies, you gotta stop doing it. You gotta stop claiming these men that you are just casually dating. You need to date multiple men. You need to be going on dates with Ray Ray, Leroy, and Tony. You need to stop being so committed to just that one man. So when Carisha popped out with Diddy and she was like, you know, they're dating. He does his thing, she does her thing, and you know, she benefits from it. I was all for it, okay? I was like, city girls up a million points. You know, she done bad to do like Diddy, billionaire dude. You know, she a city girl, pretty young, he put her on, he get her platform and stuff like that. So I was all with it. Until it started getting very, very weird. Like what I thought that she was standing for and representing for women and teaching women how to casually date, it's just, it has taken a turn, which has brought me to a change of heart. It made me really want to comment on how women gotta know to maneuver the game, but still stay within your feminine energy. Okay, so let me explain what I mean by staying in your feminine energy in relation to Carisha and Diddy. Now, I'm not a relationship expert, none of that. I go through my own trials and tribulations with men, but what I have learned over my years is that in order for a woman to play a game like a man, which means successfully mastering only dating and not getting so wrapped up or upset or just feeling pressed knowing that he's dating other women is by tapping into your feminine energy and understanding that men love the chase okay like men love the chase when you start pouring too much over into men when you start giving too much to men when you start making yourself too available too accessible to men and y'all are only dating not in a committed relationship not married to one another but only dating that's when the lines get blurred because at the end of the day Women are not equipped like men. We are emotional beings, and that's okay. We were intended to be emotional beings. And men are more so logical beings. They're gonna think with their mind first. Us women are gonna think with our heart first. So when we allow ourselves to pour into too much emotion, lines get blurred when you're only supposed to be casually dating. Which brings me to it. You know, it was cute when, you know, he was posting little pictures to her. She would post little pictures to him. Cute. But they made it known that they were only dating. Okay. Then, you know, they taking trips. We seeing this and that. Okay, cute. Because who wouldn't want to go on trips with, you know, the guy that they're dating. But when things got a little weird, it's when all these other women started, you know, popping out. Like, I think the trend girl... Now he got another girl pregnant. She do cyber security. And then we got this new chick that he was caught up with. At that point, I don't think Carisha should have started. It. I don't think Carisha should have stopped dating Diddy. But I think she should have had like some other ballers on her roster for her to pop out with. Because it looks like she's a side piece. I'm going to be real. Like to me, she's starting to lose her player card. She's starting to 
lose me as a cheerleader because it looked like you are committed to this man. You are in a relationship with this man and he is out here playing with other women. And you know, she tries to defend herself by saying, you know, it go both ways. We're only dating. That's not my man. I'm single. But sis, it's giving fraudulent. It's definitely giving fraudulent because if that's not your man and y'all are only dating, I mean, come on. Me and Love to Chase tap into that feminine energy. Where are your backup plans? Where are your other men that you were dating? Because if you are cool with just casually dating and clearly you don't have a problem with showing the man, one of the men that you were dating, what are the other ones at? What are the other ones? Because baby, he kissing, making babies, all out with his. Where is yours? How is you keeping it playing, sis? It look like you're going out like a fucking fool. And I just hate that. I just really hate that for Carisha because I feel like she was ahead of the situation. But because she's with the older man, and I know me personally, I've never been interested in dating older men. I don't care to date older men because they're manipulative. <laughs> like, he got inside your brain, he made you feel special, and you know, things start getting blurred. And as women, we have to understand our power. Tapping into that feminine energy means keep that man chasing you. Don't make that man feel like he's so comfortable to where he can play in your face. Because the thing is, men are competitive and men are prideful. If he see another man is checking for you, then I promise you, I promise you he wouldn't be cutting up like he's been cutting up. And I just think, I just think women got to get better at that. Because we already know how men are. Ain't no point of just keep saying men ain't shit. Ain't no point of keep saying this or keep saying that. We already know how men are. So instead of, so instead of going head on collision with men, let's just rule within our power. Let them rule within their power. And I promise it's going to all equal out. And I just feel like it just wasn't a good example to show women how to date from which how she originally was trying to do it. I was really going for it, but it's like, nah, it's, it's giving you playing yourself, sis, because he is bringing you around his family. You're bringing him around your people. Y'all at the BT Awards with a gold poppy sign. Like, it's just getting really out of control. Like, I feel like it's getting out of control. And I just really want to get my spill on that. Like, before I go to this movie premiere, before I eat my little dinner over here, I just want to give my opinion on that situation. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think that she know what she doing? Y'all think that she got in her feelings? because you know things got a little too out of hand you know she started feeling a little deep feelings started evolving so she start, started thinking she was the main and then he had to remind her that she's not the main but he said she ain't never been a side bitch but then he treating her like a side bitch i don't know let me know what y'all think in the, in the comments please let me know what y'all think because my overall theory is is that she got caught up with this man and she's trying to hang on this to this whole we are not together but you are trying to fight people. You are arguing with people. You are talking shit about people. You're doing this all over a man that you're only dating. If you're dating other men, then just go fuck with them. Why are you even responding to people on social media? It's not giving feminine energy. It's not giving unbothered, sis. So let me know in the comments below what y'all think about that. Okay, you guys, so the food is done. Like I said, I'm going to eat before I go to the movie premiere. I just want to have my little chit chat with y'all about that little spicy topic before we just dive into the festivities. Which honestly, I'm probably not even gonna vlog that much of it because I think it's rude to have my camera out while I'm at a movie premiere. But I'll probably just show y'all the setup, give y'all a review over the movie, let y'all know how it goes. But your girl gotta eat before we do that. So. I didn't even give y'all a little plate presentation because my presentation ain't even all that. It's really not. I just threw the food on here because I'm ready to eat. But I did brawl the turkey breast with the Parmesan cheese. It looks really good. Yellow rice is done. Got the fried cabbage. And it's 6 18 right now. The premiere of the movie starts at 8. So yeah, I'm good, y'all. I am actually on time for once. But we're going to go ahead and do a little taste because, like I said, this is my first time ever eating turkey breast i'm put a little rice on it i see that right there let's see how that is mm -mm. i like it y'all i like it a lot it tastes like a lighter a lighter meat and i had fried me some cabbage i had added like different color bell peppers and onions to it 
I usually boil my cabbage, but I want it fried this time. I like it too. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I really didn't want to show y'all my plate because I kind of burnt my cabbage. <laughs> While I was going on my rant about Diddy and Carisha, I kind of burnt my cabbage a little bit because I wasn't paying attention and I had it on high, but it still smacked. So, we gonna eat it. I'm, I'm really gonna stop cooking on my YouTube channel for real because it seems like every time I try to cook for y'all, something happens and it seems like I can't cook. But, but I'm gonna finish eating my food and then we are going to throw on the rest of our clothes and get ready to go to the movie premiere. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so we have officially made it to the movie premiere and I would say this is a good turn out for a short film on a Sunday night, honey. Like, I don't know if y'all can really tell, but the parking lot is full. And I totally forgot that this is supposed to be an ugly Christmas sweater movie premiere. I do not have an ugly Christmas sweater. But, you know, I came to show my support, to show my love. I'm so excited to see. Um, it's about 7.43 right now. I'm waiting for Courtney to pull up. Courtney said that she won't be here until about 7.55-ish. So I'll probably just wait to walk in with her. But I'm so excited to see this film. Shout out to all the black creators, all the black filmmakers. I know that this movie is going to be a hit. I was there on set for one scene and it was really funny. So I'm just really excited to see the entire movie. To see how it all turned out. So, yeah. So I'm gonna sit here and wait for Courtney for a little bit, probably call somebody while I'm waiting, and I'll let y'all know how it goes. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous as y'all can see it was packed out in there it was just it was so amazing to see so many come out to support young black artists the movie was so good to give y'all a little rundown of the plot y'all go see I believe it's on Wildlet Network on YouTube I'll put the information somewhere in here it's on wallet network but go check it out but pretty much the plot is about one woman going to see multiple men that she dates which is pretty which goes was pretty cool because it goes in with what i was talking about earlier about Carisha and Diddy, but anywho, it's about a woman who's dating multiple men and she goes to see them all on Christmas Day. Now, I'm not gonna tell y'all how the ending goes, but go check it out. It really gave me a modern twist on Bill Bellamy's How to Be a Player, but a female version. And then I also saw some um, like aspects of She's Gotta Have It by Spike Lee, the modern version with, no, with nola darling nola darling i believe that's the main character name but yes go check it out it was super good like i said if i haven't already asked information y'all i had a drink so i think that one drink got me a little tipsy and i gotta go to work tomorrow but anywho go check it out you guys it was super awesome support black artists because we all out here grinding and as always like comment and subscribe like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys later bye